In this video, we will use a process called completing the square to make a trinomial into a perfect square. You may remember an expression like a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is easily factored to the square root of the first term, the sine from the middle, and the square root of the last term, and that expression is squared. To make an expression like x squared plus bx plus c a perfect square, we will focus on the third term. c, that third term, will always be 1 half times b, or the middle number, squared. Let's take a look at some expressions where we find that c to make it a perfect square and try and factor it. In this problem, the middle number is 10. To make it a perfect square, c will be equal to half of the 10 squared. Half of 10 is 5, squared is 25. This means if c were 25, x squared plus 10x plus 25, we would have a perfect square that we could easily factor by taking the square root of the first term, x, the sine from the middle, plus, and the square root of the last term, 5, to get our perfect square. Let's try another example where we have to find c, or that number that makes the expression, into a perfect square. Again, to find the perfect square, we take 1 half times b, or the middle number, negative 7, and we'll square it, because we can't take half of 7 evenly. If we put the 7 over 1 and multiply across, we get negative 7 halves squared. To square a fraction, we square the numerator and denominator, giving us positive 49 over 4. That means if c is 49 fourths, we have x squared minus 7x plus 49 fourths, we will have something that factors to a perfect square. We take the square root of the first term, the sine from the middle, and the square root of the last term. To take a square root of the fraction, we take the square root of the numerator and denominator, giving us 7 halves. Let's try another example where we actually have a fraction for the middle term. The pattern is still the same. To find c, c is equal to 1 half times the b, or negative 3 sevenths squared. Multiplying the fraction straight across, we get negative 3 over 14 squared. Again, to square the fraction, we square the numerator and the denominator. Negative 3 squared is 9, and 14 squared is 196. This means c is 9 over 196, so we have x squared minus 3 sevenths x plus 9 over 196. This factors quickly to something squared, the square root of the first term, the sine from the middle, and the square root of the last term. Again, we take the square root of the numerator and denominator, giving us 3 fourteenths. Let's try one more with a fraction in the middle. Again, to find c, we take 1 half of b, or 6 fifths, squared. In this problem, notice we can reduce the 6 and 2 to get 3. So we have 3 fifths squared, or 9 over 25. This means our expression is x squared plus 6 fifths x, plus 9 over 25. It will factor to a perfect square because we have designed it as such. Take the square root of the first term, the sine from the middle, and the square root of the last term. 9 over 25 becomes 3 fifths. We can make a trinomial into a perfect square by finding the correct c, which is half of b squared. 